Alright guys, so I'm hoping that this is all catfish stuck in here on the bottom. And if it is, hopefully they'll want to eat. We're saying about 35 foot of water. And we're just going to go up. The wind's stronger than the current. And we're going to let the wind just blow us back. And we're going to drag some and drift a couple. And we're just going to go around this bend. Go reel it in. All right, we've been on the water for about two hours, and we finally got... Is he on there? Oh, yeah. Yeah, real, real. real, real. I know. Real. Here, sit down. Sit down. I want to help you real quick, all right? We're going to pop that fingerboard loose. Pop the fingerboard. There it goes. There we go. That's easy enough. Thank you. Finally got our first fish on my... Yeah. Don't let him get in these lines, Buck. Keep him over here. Did he come off? You got it real fast. Don't do that. You're going to pull him off. Just keep reeling. He had a breath dead. He ate too many Doritos. Yeah. <laughs> we came up here on this flat. It's about 40 feet on one side. Over here. Over this side, it drops down to the main river channel. and drops down to about 70 feet. Drill down on him and slow down or you're going to lose him. There you go. That's my fish. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Oh, come, come on. Finish him off. You got it. You can take the other. I don't know if we're going to need the net or not. Okay. Take on it. Let's get the weight and then we'll get him up. Give me them pliers. I'm going to put him in the neck because he's too big to weigh the pliers. Hold that box. How do you weigh with the neck? Well, I know how much my net weighs. This right here weighs two pounds. Oh, that's a good idea. Oh, that's what I was doing before. Thank you. 
fat seat up. Sit down. This one? Yep. No, the this, this one up here. Okay. Is that going on right now? Yeah, he is. No. Spin around. Spin around. No, it's gonna sting. It's not gonna sting you, buddy. Oh my God. Uh -huh. Grab the these. Outside. Grab those. There you go. Alright, there you go. Now hold him when we get my phone. Hey, what's up? Grab his tail and hold him out. Is this where he's pooped? No, hold him, hold him like that. Yeah. Perfect. All right. I'm gonna pet him some more. Well, we gotta get him back in the water, bud. Dang it. Okay. See, he breathes in the water. Yeah. Right now. Yeah. Look at that catfish slime. I'm taking off my shirt, man. Is that okay? Yeah. I don't want you sunburn. Okay. Guys, we was reeling in to go. We'll get out of this storm. And this planter board, I don't know how long it's been on here, but it has a fish on it. Guess the next one's yours, Dad. Remember? It's nice and slow. That way it won't pop it off his mouth. It's keeping this planter board down. He must have been running with it the whole time because I didn't feel it until that planter board got tight. I never saw Bob go down or nothing. I believe, actually, I believe we caught him. Now, I'm going to the camera see. No, the camera can see it. Well, fine, but it's a wide angle lens. Oh, yeah. Makes him look like he's 28 pounds. Funny. All right, guys. So like I said, we're just up here dragging these flats. We got our light jacks up. There's a storm came in. I know we're on it, so we're going to get out of here and go get up in one of these coves where the water's a bit calmer and ride it out. We'll be back shortly. All right, guys. So what we did is we came up in this cove where the water's way calmer. Well, the storm over here passes, and uh, probably gonna get snagged a lot. There's some fish marked up in here, and we run, put some chicken on, run some chicken, see if the chicken will do anything for us. So hopefully we'll pick something up right through here while the storm passes by. It's out here, buddy. That's a good fish, okay? And that was this is on chicken, guys. We just put this chicken down. And it hit like a bee, son. 
so hard. No, no, if you're not going to do it right, I'm going to do it because we're not going to lose him. Roll down and lift up like he's a big fish. Go. Nice and slow. Man, what do you guys think? Should we throw him in the boat or in the water? And then I reel down. Only look at the rod tip. You see how I'm reeling the rod tip down? And then I lift up. And I reel down really slow. No, I think he was already on there because it was it was going straight back. Alright, now bring your rod right tip down. There you go. That little guy couldn't even get it in his head. His mouth. Can we still give him the fish? He's getting there, but he ain't too big or, the, or too small. No, see, feel how it's still. See how when they get big, they round off? Yeah. Feel? Yeah. When they're, all, they're, when they're spiky, little, they're spiky. they are sharp and they do hurt then. Well guys, we just spun around. We're still in that same cove that Wyatt lost that ginormous fish on a while ago. Oh, he's going to call us the whole entire fishing trip. We were spun around and uh, we thought we had had the poles got hung up. We're back in about 20 foot of water right now. But it turned out there's a fish on it. Been caught before. Somebody else caught him. His hook went through his eyeball. He had a big old skip guy, kid. Caught 6.4 pounds. 
He ate a head that was almost as big as his head is. <laughs> let him go and let him grow. Chicken. Well, that's those are, like I said, those are the extreme series, so. Pictures? Do you want any pictures with him? Yeah. We're gonna get a bigger one. Am I getting pictures? Winner, winning chicken dinner. Let's see if Grandpa gets him in or lets him go. Bob, what do you think he's gonna do? Let him go. Yeah, we'll see. He's pretty good. Yeah. He would be a fish nugget if we was keeping him. Look at the expert fisherman up here. Yeah. He also let the biggest fish today go. Uh, he'll beat me one day though. Know that? Mm hmm. I mean, I'm the master today, you know that? Yep. Hey, Dad, I finally beat you at something, you know that? Did you bait the hooks? Did you cast the poles out? Did you choose the spot? No. I let you reel it in. <laughs> oh my goodness, Dad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Flip him up here and show the people. <laughs> he, he, he was a double or triple hook. He's a, a keeper. Channel cat, now we need a flathead. Yep. Better than what we've been catching. It's been a tough day today. Yeah, he's big, big enough where he could sting, bud. He's big enough. Yep. Is he on there? See how fast you're going? Yeah. Not necessary. Alright. I'll go ahead and reel it all the way in. We're going to call it it. Yep. All right, everybody. So we kind of got our butts kicked out here dragging on Willow today. I'm not sure where we're going to go in the morning. Um, Did we quit ending as you were saying that? Then there's a fish. Maybe uh, 
Probably gonna go to Wilson, I imagine. We'll see. Or we may come back on the Willard. We just may go farther up river. The well, wind's supposed to be calm tomorrow, so tomorrow will be a good day for us to drag on Willard. Alright, see you guys tomorrow.